9%. How about you? He said, 51%. Can you give me 1% from you? Then we'll be 50-50. Why? Don't you remember one time you were thirsty and thirsty and thirsty? You were to die. I gave you a cup of water and you were very happy. Yes. Can you give me now 1%? He said, no problem. Means that we will wait at the door of Araf, thousands of years, no go, Jannah, no go. He said, okay. He went to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, my friend has 49%, I have 51. I feel sorry for him because he gave me a cup of water and I am very grateful to him. Would you kindly, Ya Allah, give him 1% of me and I'm ready to stay with him, Araf, without him. He told him, my rahma wasi'at kulla shay. Both of you come to Jannah. One cup of water may allow you to enter Jannah by helping somebody. The brother that was mentioning, even cleaning toilet and anything, even vacuuming the masjid, is a favor you get credit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do credit as much as possible before you die, otherwise, la samaha Allah. Rasul sallallahu telling us also, tasahharu fa'anna fi sahuri baraka. So think it over. What should we do in Ramadan? Prepare ourselves. Most of the Muslims, unfortunately, said as long as we are attending Salat al-Taraweeh, the Imam will be reciting the juz after juz after juz. We made khatm quran How about me? Every Muslim, my recommendation, every Muslim should train himself to read Quran on a daily basis and to listen to Quran on a daily basis. There are two places in the Quran that Allah is telling us, وَإِذَا قُرِئَ الْقُرْآنَ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ وَأَنصِتُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ When Quran is being recited, hmm, hmm, hmm. I zip my tongue, I open my ears, my heart, my mind, then honest to God, anyone who listens to tilawat al Quran, <laughs> you feel shivering and goosebump. If you reach that level, once in your life, you are lucky, in a way. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so happy with you. He sent you an angel from heaven to shake hand with you on behalf of Allah. Really? I feel goosebumps. Be grateful that Allah is so happy with you because you listen to tilawat al-Quran. Number two, فَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنَ فَاسْتَعِدْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ رجيم. When you are going to read Quran, say, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ رجيم. He runs away. If you want shaitan to run away crying, put your face on the floor sujood and he will start crying. I have been ordered to make sujood in front of Adam. I refuse. I go to hell. You put yourself on the floor and you make shaitan. He'll cry and run away. Now we have sujood in salat. And therefore, every Muslim should think of himself. How can I improve myself to get the level of highest, highest, highest? Tilawat al-Quran, every Muslim, my recommendation, English is not my language, it's not your language, we had to learn it. And most of the Muslims, they speak three languages, whether you believe it or not. You read Quran in Arabic, it's Arabic. You read uh, Farsi, you read uh, uh, Urdu, you read uh, any language, okay. And you read English, so three languages, even Arabs, three. But therefore, why not? I will do my best to go and bring the Quran and start reading myself Quran every day. How? I should read it every day one just so. <gasps> I should finish tilawat quran every lunar calendar. I should finish khatm quran khatm quran khatm quran Is it haram? No. Sayyidah Nafisa, the granddaughter of Imam Hassan radiallahu anh, she requested the Muslim to open the grave for her. And she used to go to her own grave and sit in the grave and read Quran. And she made Khatmi Quran 140 times. 100. She used to say, this is my bedroom till the day of judgment. I want to enlighten it with Tilawat Quran al kareem How in the world we are not going to read Quran by each one of us should do his best. You learned English, learn now the language of the Quran, how to read it, how to pronounce it, how to memorize even certain surahs. If you are not ready now to memorize the whole Quran, can you imagine last few days one friend called me. I said, yes, brother. He said, I just retired. I'm in the 60s. I retired. What should I do? I want now to memorize the Quran at this age because I have no, no job. 
I am retired, therefore my best life till I meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to start learning Quran, hifz Quran. I said, number one is how to read Quran. Number two, how to make hifz Quran. Number three, how to understand the meaning of the Quran. Number four, how to apply it. Number five, how to deliver to somebody else. And if you reach the level of reading Quran, goosebumps, and tears come out of your eyes, Aynan. لا تمسهم النار عين بكت من خشية الله وعين باتت تحرس في سبيل الله two groups of people will never ever will enter hell but they will enter Jannah eyes out of خشية of Allah because you are reading and the meaning is so touch my heart you want to cry go and cry is it haram to cry no in the middle east they say crying for babies and for women no i said for everybody especially those who love allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what should we do therefore to prepare ourselves to meet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before that let's pray to allah that allah will help us to meet ramadan and to benefit from ramadan to make uh, reading Quran as much as possible, to make dua as much as possible, to make sadaqat, zakat, fitra as much as possible. The box that is being crisscrossed here is not the one that will... Uh, everyone should make donation daily throughout the whole life. Everyone should make even zakat throughout the whole year and at the month of Ramadan make the final decision how much you have to do. We have so many things and even somebody sent us the things that you should do and the things that you should not do. We made enough copies to be distributed as much as possible so as at least even at the back how to prepare yourself to welcome Ramadan what you should do in Ramadan and so on and so forth. This needs lecture after lecture and accordingly Allah will help us. Yes, book of fasting, the obligatory fasting, the benefit of fasting medically and whatnot. When I was teaching in medical school, I used to tell my American student, non-Muslim, if you fast every week one time, you'll improve your brain. And the final exam, it will be easy for you to answer the question rather than, oh, I forgot, I have Parkinson's disease, I have this, I have that. No, no, no. And honest to God, they started fasting, and we have all the benefit medically of fasting. You can have it as a donation for the masjid, inshallah. I know the time is running very fast. I did not finish the khutbah, but I have to finish the khutbah. Dr. Muzambal Siddiqui just called me when I arrived here, and he conveyed his salam. He's in Jeddah. He was in Mecca and Medina. Now he's in Jeddah. Within a few days, he'll come back here. MashaAllah. May Allah bless him. May Allah bless all of you. And think it over what you should do today before you leave the Salatul Jum'ah. Before you leave Salatul Jum'ah, going to your home or shopping center or whatever, what should you do now and what promises you want to do to Allah so as the angel will say, Ameen, Ameen, Ya Rabbal Alameen. Subhana Rabbika Rabbal Izzati Amma Yasifun wa Salamun Al Mursaleen wa Alhamdulillahi Rabbal Alameen. Istaghfiru Rabbakum in Naukana Ghaffara, inshallah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ولا أما بعد يقول الله عز وجل في القرآن الكريم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم وبارك اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين أنك حميد مجيد وارض اللهم عن الأربعة الخلفاء أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن أزواج محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعن الصحابة والتابعين وتابعين بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة عين واجعلنا للمتقين إماما ربنا اجعلنا مقيم الصلاة ومن ذريتنا ربنا وتقبل دعاء ربنا اغفر لنا ولوالدينا والمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب اللهم تقبل منا صلاتنا 
وصيامنا وقيامنا وركوعنا وسجودنا ودعاءنا واغفر اللهم لنا ولوالدينا وللمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك يا مولانا سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات يا رب العالمين وصل وسلم وبارك اللهم على محمد بن الأمي وعلى وصحبه وسلم الحمد لله رب العالمين عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذو القربة وإنع الفحشاء والمنكر به يعدكم العدل The medical doctor for the operation of cataract told me don't go down, don't go down, sit down, even if you pray, sit down. So inshallah, Brother Naveed will be leading the salat while I'll be sitting and making salat with you, inshallah. Shukran. Salaamu